Hello, my gorgeous people. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so happy that you're here. It feels so good to be back to recording all my content again, being in front of this whole setup again. I took a two week break. I really needed it. I'm now a little sun kissed to have a tan going on. I got my hair colored, so my curls are just blooming and blossoming and I absolutely love it. It feels really good to be back. Today's video is yet another single brand review. I know you guys really like this when I talk about upcoming beauty brands from India. Today's brand in focus is Pulp. It's an upcoming cruelty-free vegan skincare brand from India. I've been trying and testing these products out for almost 30 to 40 days now and I have all my reviews in place. I've been trying them in different skincare routines as well. So I'm going to be sharing all my reviews along with texture shots right here. Now, in case you're new here, hi, my name is Preeti. I'm India's first cruelty-free beauty blogger. I talk about all things cruelty-free. I also cover veganism, sustainability, and a lot more things. If this is the kind of content you resonate with, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and continue watching today's video. Now, before I forget, this is a skincare review, so I need to put up a disclaimer. As always, sing it along with me that beauty, skincare, hair care is so subjective. What might work for you might not work for me and vice versa. It's really important to keep an open mind when you watch any of these reviews. Also, be sure to patch test check with your doormat in case you're allergic to any of these products and now we're gonna jump into these reviews now all the products came to me in this beautiful packaging right here I absolutely love it I love their little catchy phrases that they have going on um, this is what it looks like from the inside these are the products that I've been trying and testing out I love the packaging I love the thought that has gone into this mainly because they don't use a lot of plastic all of this is recyclable it's paper most of them are glass packaging with a little bit of plastic for the dropper and all of that but everything else is quite sustainable and it's vegan which is even better now this first product is one of my all-time favorite ones from all the products that pulp sent me one of the most effective products for cystic acne acne prone skin combination oily acne prone skin like mine this worked like a dream this is the x acne anti-acne serum this is what it looks like glass bottle glass dropper with a plastic cap on top if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I had a crazy acne situation right here. All the cystic acne is now gone, all cleared, everything. It was not the best time, mainly because I was really stressed. I had a lot of deadlines that I had to finish off and I had to go on holiday. It was just a lot going on and my skin was just not feeling it. So this is what came to my rescue because this honestly does such a good job. It is so gentle. It didn't over dry my skin and it very nicely calmed all the inflammation and prevented any any further acne from coming up I use this once in the morning or at night depending on when I wanted to use it because I didn't want to use it twice a day you can of course use it twice a day but I was also doing a salicylic acid treatment in the night or I was doing maybe a retinol at night or vitamin C in the morning so I was alternating between different products but this one was a staple in that routine now with all of these serums I always layer a 5% niacinamide underneath I think a 10% niacinamide works really well on my skin this has a 4% niacinamide cinnamide 2% salicylic acid azelic acid 5% alpha arbutin 0.1% and a bunch of other ingredients I'm just gonna leave it right here on the screen I hope you guys can read it now this is a very potent ingredient list it is also very beginner friendly but in case you haven't used any of these actors before you might want to use it once or twice a week initially and then increase it alternate days and then every single day over a period of one month now, I was honestly very worried that this might over dry my skin because, you know, with acne, we tend to go a little overboard and then you have extremely dry skin. I was really worried about that. So I took it really slow once a day, either in AM or in PM, and it worked really well for me. It didn't over dry my skin. It didn't make my skin feel flaky. It didn't damage my skin barrier. Thank God. Now, apart from the excellent efficacy, I love how fast absorbing this is. The texture is literally like water literally like water it absorbs in five to six seconds on your skin and you can easily go on top with either ceramides or a thick moisturizer you can also use hyaluronic acid underneath however you want to layer this provided you're not using too many other actives like retinols or ahs you don't want to do that but with this a good cleanse tone serum and moisturize worked really really well it's got a faint fruity fragrance that is not too strong at all it fades away really really fast as well now with this you need to press this down and then open it okay this is what it looks like if you just open it 
like this it's not going to open up you need to press it down and then open it i think that is really cool because you're not going to end up spilling product when you're traveling now of course because this is glass it can get a little heavy for travel but again if you really like the product you're obviously going to travel with it i traveled with this too on my holiday and it worked really well on my skin i used it literally twice or thrice in 10 12 days i didn't want to use it every single day because i was at the beach every single day and if i'm using all of these my skin barrier would go for a toss even though i was using a lot of sunscreen you shouldn't use actives when you're on a beach vacation my second favorite one is this one right here the date night glow this is what it looks like i'm pretty sure you've seen this all over instagram a lot of my blogger friends also rave about this and i was so intrigued i really wanted to know what is the whole fuss about this why does it work so well i need to try it out and luckily pulp reached out to me i was anyway planning to buy this to try it out and this lives up to all the claims it deserves all the fuss going around because it is one of the most effective lightweight serums that you can easily incorporate in your skincare routine it says you need to use this as a third step of nighttime skincare routine however i use this in my daytime too because i really needed that extra moisture on my skin mainly because i was using so many anti-acne treatments and this lives up to the claim it does such a good job you guys if you are like me and you love ceramides i mean you have to love ceramides one of the best ingredients to improve your skin texture because they literally plump your skin up now on the outer packaging it says you need to use it in your nighttime but i honestly use it in the daytime and it worked really well for me I use ceramides either in my daytime or my nighttime or sometimes both mainly because my skin is combination acne prone right and it gets really dry sometimes especially with my anti-acne treatments my skin was dry all the time so I was layering a lot of hyaluronic acid a lot of ceramides a lot of moisturizers because my skin needed it now with this this is very very lightweight it doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all it's a serum like consistency it's not oily it's not greasy and it's just so easy to layer with a moisturizer, without a moisturizer, with actives, without actives, this worked really well on my skin. It's worth all the fuss. It's worth all the hype. Everything that you see on Instagram, it lives up to every single claim. You know how I feel about products that don't live up to their claims. Don't make claims that you can't live up to. That is literally how I live my life. So this is what I like when a brand claims something, lives up to those claims and delivers much more than what you would have expected from the product. Now, because this is ceramides, it could feel heavy on your skin. Just a heads up. So in that case, use in your nighttime like it's intended to be used. If you have very dry skin, combination skin like mine, you can use it in your AM routine. There's literally no fuss about it. The anti-acne serum had a slight fragrance to it. This doesn't have any fragrance. You can barely smell anything when you apply it on your skin. This is definitely a must-have for literally all skin types. I don't see how this can be a problem for any skin type. It doesn't trouble my acne-prone skin combination, oily acne-prone skin. It works really well. Well, really really well and it hydrates moisturizes the skin really well and I strongly recommend you try this out especially if you're looking for something that is moisturizing hydrating easy to layer on actives in place of moisturizer or under a moisturizer this is a product that you definitely need to try out the next one is the day after binge serum this is what it looks like it's a 20 percent vitamin c serum now along with 20 percent vitamin c it's also got kale extract it's got ferulic acid it's also got red algae extract on the packaging it says that you need to use it in your morning routine but you can easily use this in your nighttime skincare routine as well now because this is a 20 percent vitamin c serum you should use it either in your am or your pm routine with 5 10 or 12 percent you can easily use it twice a day but not with a 20 percent i don't require 20 percent vitamin c every single day i'm okay with 10 12 or even a 5 percent and that's why i use this literally every other day or every two three days i don't need it every single day and that's why i finished only this much so far now because it is a 20 percent, it is not the most beginner friendly honestly if you're a beginner to vitamin c choose five or ten percent and then maybe move on to 12 15 and then a 20 percent most vitamin c serums the base is slightly oily and i don't mind it at all even with this the base is slightly oily it doesn't feel tacky doesn't feel greasy it actually works really well on the skin a lot of vitamin c serums that i've tried out feel a little sticky and a little tacky on the skin but this doesn't do any of that it's really really fast absorbing non-greasy this also doesn't oxidize on your skin so you're not going to feel yellow or a little rusty you're not going to look darker after applying this and that's what i really like about it a lot of vitamin c sedums oxidize on your skin and they make you look really dark but this doesn't do any of that if you're somebody who's already used a lot of vitamin c rich routines and you want to amp it up a bit then this is definitely a product that you should try out
The last and the final product is this sunscreen right here. This is an SPF 40 broad spectrum sunscreen, PA++++. It's called GTG Gotta Go Sunscreen. Now, what I love about this is that it's a moisturizer and a sunscreen two in one. You don't need a moisturizer underneath, and that's what makes this really cool. Now, if you have very dry skin, obviously you'll need to use another serum or another moisturizer underneath. But on my combination oily acne prone skin, this works really well just by itself without a moisturizer underneath. Now, this isn't mattifying, so if you have very oily skin, I wouldn't recommend this for you. It doesn't leave a very strong white cast, which is really nice. But if you have very oily skin, skip it altogether. If you have skin like mine, which combination oily acne prone you can easily use this it's not going to feel tacky on your skin this is definitely a sunscreen for the winter weather definitely not something you can wear on the beach it's not waterproof you cannot use this in monsoons or in extremely sticky humid weather but for winters this is going to work really well which is pretty much now right around the corner now when i use this i use some mattifying powder on top of this just to mattify the whole product it doesn't move around too much but i really wish it was super waterproof it's not waterproof and i sweat a lot so i can't really use it when I'm stepping out in harsh sunlight if I'm going to be outdoors quite a bit in my balcony or at home I can easily use this so I've applied this underneath all of my makeup today I don't apply foundation it's just concealer loose powder a lot of bronzer and some tan that I'm rocking and underneath that I've applied this now the good thing about this not being mattifying is that you can easily apply your makeup on top of this because it's so moisturizing with super mattifying sunscreens, the only problem that I have is applying makeup on top because it's so difficult to apply makeup on mattifying sunscreens. With this, I didn't face any such troubles. I've also used quite a bit of this. I'm not sure if it shows in the shadow of the screen, but I've used a lot of this already. During this winter weather, I anyway don't use a lot of mattifying sunscreens, mainly because my skin just feels very dry and I don't want to mattify it any further. With the dry December and Jan right around the corner, I'm thinking I'll buy another one of this so I'll have another backup because it is so 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 moisturizing so if i'm going to summarize it for you it's not mattifying it can feel a little heavy for oily skin it's going to feel a little tacky for oily skin great for dry weather great for sensitive skin great for dry combination skin does not break the skin out at all so if you're planning to try out this sunscreen definitely try it out in this weather right now because it's dry maybe skip this in humid weather like summers or even tropical weather like monsoons and everything but overall for winters this is a very very good sunscreen screen. I really wish this was waterproof though you guys because the formula is top notch if this was waterproof they could take the game up another level and I could easily use this on the beach then. It has a very neutral fragrance it doesn't smell like anything and it doesn't smell bad either so it's great for anybody who doesn't want to use any strong fragrances on their skin. And that's about it you guys those are all the products that i've been trying out from pulp i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did please hit that thumbs up so that i know you enjoyed watching this video i try to break down the ingredients the application everything as much as possible for you guys to get all the info right here from this video you clearly know which ones are my favorites let me know if you've tried any of these products and what your experience was like in the comments below all right you guys i'm gonna catch you all in the next video very very soon but before i go don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and check out my previous videos right here here. I will catch you all later till then take care of your skin bye